How to promote Timu on Pinterest step by step. In this video, we're going to be talking about Timu and how you can promote all of its products on your Pinterest in the easiest and most simplest way, and how you can actually get high amounts of sales and generate good commission through the affiliate link. So to start things off, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be discussing what we're actually going to do. So first of all, you're going to come to Timu, choose a product. Once you've chosen that product, you're going to save its images and its link. Then we're going to go over to Canva. We're going to edit it to make it look presentable on Pinterest. Okay, those are the steps that we're going to be following over. Okay, so to get started, what we're going to do is we're going to come over to Timu. And in Timu, what we're going to do is we're going to choose the products that we think are going to sell good. Okay, and you can choose what products to sell good on Google Trends. So you can simply go over to Google Trends to get a good idea on which product is going to get you good affiliate commission. So once we come over to Google Trends here, what you can do is you can search for, let's say I'm going to go with the um, let's say it's it's the summers right so let's go with coolers okay we're going to search up coolers and we're going to go to, ahead to explore and now we can actually go ahead to the worldwide section and in the past day as you can see coolers were actually searched a lot and most of them in united states okay so we have rise of golden coolers and we have polar bear coolers, etc. It keeps going on and on. Okay. And they're on a breakout, which means that it's rising. So what you can do is you're going to come over to Timu and what we can search over here is Rizal coolers. Okay. You can search that up. And once you search that up, we can see different types of coolers in front of us. All right. So you can choose any single one of these. So let's say I'm going to go with this. This looks pretty cool. So I'm going to click on that. And it's going to open things up like this, right? So right under it, you can see it gives you all the details of this cooler. You can see how this cooler actually operates. And uh, you can see its pricings. You can see its, uh, you know, space, storage, etc. It keeps going on and on. So pretty standard and pretty simple stuff to get your head around. Now, what you're going to do over here is you're going to make sure to copy its link. Okay, so once you have copy its link, you're also going to go ahead and save the images that it provides you. So let's say I'm going to go ahead and save this image. Okay, it's a pretty good standard image. You're going to make sure that your image isn't in WEBP. Okay, because that's going to ruin the repertoire. So let me show you what you can do. So you're going to come over to Canva and over here, we're going to write Pinterest. Okay. So once you write Pinterest, you're going to go with Pinterest pin. And once you go to Pinterest pin, it's going to come here. You're going to go to create a blank Pinterest pin. And once we do that, it's going to load you straight into this section. Now over here, what we are going to want to do is we're going to click on this pin section. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to choose the image you want to add for yourself. So I'm going to, let's say, expand the image. Let's go with something like this. You know that this looks pretty standard. So you're going to come over here and you're going to screenshot this. All right. So once we screenshot this as so, what you're going to do is you're going to come over to your Canva. You're going to paste it. And now, as we can see, once it's pasted, what you can do is you're going to come over to text. Once you come over to text, you're going to go over to the text section and you're going to start writing your text in. So let's say I'm going to write premium cooler. And down here, you can write more premium cooler. Let's go ahead with the big store. Okay. So once we do this, you can actually go ahead and add different designs accordingly. For yourself, you can add different colors in the background. So let's say I'm going to go with uh, a blue color scheme, you know, just like this. And down here, you can add all of its details. So let's say I'm going to come here to the actual detail section. Okay. I turn this off. Come down here. We have this. And I'm going to go ahead and copy all of this. Once you copy this, you're going to come here and you're going to go to any small text body. So let's go ahead with this text over here. So once you go ahead with this text, you're going to bring it down here. 
once you bring it down here, we're going to delete this text. We're going to come to the classic text, paste it all. You're going to select it all and you're going to decrease its size. Okay. So once we decrease its size and make sure that it's actually, you know, relatively presentable, we're going to finally bring it up here. And you know, that's basically a good Pinterest pin that we've just created, right? Pretty standard, pretty basic. So once we have done this, you can add more, you know, color schemes into this. Like, you know, for example, if I was to, you know, get a little extra with the ad, I could simply go over to gradient. And once you go over to gradient, you could just add a little gradient in the background. Or if you want to get, you know, a little funky with it, you can add textures. All right. So let's say I want to add some uh, random texture like this one. So we're going to choose that texture increase its size and uh, obviously you can change its color by adjusting okay so you can increase the brightness increase the contrast okay now we can see it's uh, a little more prominent so what you can do is you can position this to the back so now we can see this is our pin for pinterest okay this is your basic pin design now once you've done this you're going to click on share and you're going to click on download and make sure to download it as a PNG. There is no other format that works better for Pinterest. So download it as a PNG. And once it's downloaded, let me show you what you're going to do on Pinterest. Now, once we're over here, what we are going to want to do is we're going to go ahead and create a pin. And to create a pin, you're going to come to the create pin section over here. And once we click on create pin, what it's going to do is it's going to load us in to the pin creation section. Now, here is where we're going to get into the details of everything. All right. And let me show you what I mean by the details of everything. So first of all, you are going to go ahead to the choose a file or drag and drop it in here section. And here is where you're going to be dropping the actual image that we edited in Canva. There we go. Now what you're going to do is you're going to add a title. So I'm going to simply go ahead and add the basic title, which is Benushi Inc. Refrigerator for car. Okay. So Benushi Inc. Ridge for car. I'm going to add a comma and then write sale. Okay. Benushi Inc. Ridge for car sale. And then we're simply going to add some exclamations. Then we have a description. Now in the description, you can simply add the description that your basic, uh, you know, um, team you has. So let's say I'm going to add this. There we go. That's an enough description. Now, once we do that, this is where the affiliate link comes in. So how are you going to get the affiliate link? You're going to come to the top. You're going to come to share, click on copy link, come to Pinterest add the link over here. Now it says choose a board. You don't necessarily need to choose a board, but let's say I'm going to go with a board of mine, add tags because those are pretty helpful. And once you do that, simply click on publish. And once you click on publish, that is you marketing your team, products on Pinterest. And look at this. This is what the pin will look like. Pretty incredible and pretty nice. Now I've also marketed team your products in the past. So let me show you what that looked like. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my account and in my account, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my profile. All right. I'm going to show you what my profile actually looks like. So I'm going to go over to my business hub and look at this. So I have a lot of profiles over here and I've got actually decent impressions. So let's say I created this for my team. So I created this ad. It has 24 impressions, pretty decent. And this is the link for it. So if people click on this, they can shop through the link. So this is basically how you are going to go ahead and promote your team on Pinterest in the easiest and most simplest way. Thank you for watching this video all the way till the end. And I'll be seeing all of you in the next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.